Hello, all my VSWville members. How you all doing today? Your boy VSW here, getting ready for SmackDown Live tonight. But while we're waiting, I want to take a look back at last night's first ever Symphony of Destruction match between the Monster Among Men, Braun Strowman, and Elias. I don't know if he is still known as the Drifter. They took away his last name, Samson. Now he is just Elias. So he's probably still the drifter. I'm not sure. But just want to take a look back at the first ever Symphony of Destruction match last night on Raw, which Kurt Angle announced was also going to be a Falls Count Anywhere match, meaning Elias wouldn't be able to run away because Braun Strowman can pin him anywhere in the building. It doesn't have to be in the ring. So. To give you a little recap of what happened before the match, Elias, as always, did his little performance. But this time, instead of starting with the guitar, he did his first performance with the piano. And then he started using different instruments to perform. And then they dimmed the lights. And take a look back at what happened right now. Monday Night Raw's first ever Symphony of Destruction match. As we sit back and prepare for the start of SmackDown Live, the final SmackDown Live before WWE Fastlane. Elias again. There's the stool, but where's Elias? He's not in the ring. Where'd he go? Oh, Elias is now trying to run away. You can't run away, stupid. It's a Falls Count Anywhere match. Because did you already forget that Kurt Angle made it a Falls Count Anywhere match? Braun Strowman doesn't have to pin you in the ring. He can pin you anywhere in the entire building, you idiot. Now he's in the car, and now he's going to try and drive away. I guess it is a smart idea, but the car's not moving. Hmm, I wonder, why is the car not moving? Oh, SmackDown Live. It's not on yet. It's just the start of it. Tonight, Randy Orton will take on the modern-day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. Of course, the six-pack challenge, AJ Styles defends the WWE Championship against Baron Corbin, Dolph Ziggler, John Cena, Kevin Owens, and Sami Zayn in the six-pack challenge. As much as I would love to see John Cena become a 17-time world champion, it's not going to happen at Fastlane. <clears throat> but again, my predictions for Fastlane coming soon, but for right now, we're getting back to the Symphony of Destruction match last night on Raw. Why is the car not moving? Oh, Braun Strowman got the car up. No wonder the car ain't moving because Braun Strowman got him up. So yeah, you might as well get out of the car now because you ain't going nowhere with the car. Yeah, time to run. Braun, get him. Uh, Braun, get him. And later on, they got Elias back into the arena and looked like Braun Strowman was going to put Elias through the announce table. Will we see it? Nope. Break Braun Strowman in the eye and just pushed him through the through the wall or whatever they call it. Now he throws them on the guitars. And there are drums too. And the big bass. You 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 remember the bass Braun used to smash Elias in the back? Let's see that again. 
and attack the back of Elias. Like I said, you remember the base. Oh yeah, and also what you missed here, Braun Strowman also threw Elias under the piano and then started playing it and then just buried Elias under it. That was cool. We saw it before, and it looks like we're going to see it again. Boom! In the back again of Elias. Oh, oh yeah, and here's the piano part that I was talking about. Now what? Oh, he's lifting up the piano, and he just kicked the leg off. That's why I would never want to get in the ring with Braun Strowman. You can just pin him, Braun, because that's it. That's it. He ain't getting up from that. Here's your winner of the first ever Symphony of Destruction match, Braun Strowman. Okay, so five minutes until SmackDown. So before I end this video, once again, I want to say that Nia Jax, you are not a failure. Because again, last night, while, while the champion of Raw, Alexa Bliss, talked to Nia Jax, one half of Team Rude, as they like to call themselves. And when Nia Jax was holding a bag of ice on her arm after having to tap out to the arm bar from Asuka, again, she just broke down. And again, I really hate to see Nia Jax cry, especially how I saw her cry on Total Divas. This is why Nia Jax is one of my favorites on Raw, and I do see her one day as women's champion. Nia Jax, keep your head up. One day your time will come. Trust me, just keep believing and just don't give up. Also, last night on Raw, it ended with Paul Heyman responding to Roman Reigns' comment about Brock Lesnar and himself last week. And man, Paul Heyman's promo was absolutely excellent. It was gold. Again, this is why... I see Paul Heyman as a Hall of Famer in the near future. Man, he does a stupendous job cutting promos. One of the best promo cutters of all time in the entire WWE. Woo! Was that awesome. Now next week, Roman Reigns will come face to face with Brock Lesnar. What will they have to say to each other? We'll find out next week. But with three more minutes left, I'm going to get ready for SmackDown Live now. We're at Fastlane. The Usos' renewed re rivalry with the New Day will happen. The SmackDown Championship once again on the line. Also, Bobby Roode defending the U.S. Championship against Randy Orton. Can Randy Orton win the, first, the only championship that he has never won? Or will Bobby Roode's reign remain glorious? We'll find out at Fastlane. And again, my predictions for Fastlane coming really soon. So be on the lookout. But again, that's all I got to say right now. I'm going to watch SmackDown live right now. And as always, God bless. Take care. Stay safe. Welcome to VSWville. We are professional wrestling fans for life. And that's the bottom line. Why? Because VSW said so. So I hope you enjoy SmackDown Live as much as hopefully I will. And I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Be safe. Love wrestling. Watch wrestling every day. And have a good night.